What's up? Good morning. So as you can see, I'm kind of struggling from that hike from yesterday. I'm really feeling it today. So today I have scheduled a hike to a place called Dran Garnir. This is going to be a moderately extensive hike. And ever since a few years ago, you have to pay for this hike because you have to go on the hike with a guide. So the meet point is in a village called Sorvagur and it's at a gas station and I believe from here we start the hike all the way on the edge of some cliffs. So without further ado, let's see what the road to these sea stacks looks like. Now it's time to catch up to the group. Let's go. kilometers almost there That's just about gonna do it for Dragarnir. It's time to put the chairs in the wagon and head home. <laughs> nah, but for real, this hike most definitely worth it. Final view. All right, choose. I finished off day three by redeeming myself. The day before I had tried to go to the Trolo Kunfunga and was greeted with nothing but clouds and wind. When I got home to my hostel after the Dragarnir hike, the sun was out and I decided to go check it out with a few roommates from the hostel and everything worked out. I got to see the witch's finger. I have made it to Saksun village. After a long narrow road to get to this village, we finally made it. I made a quick hike to the top to get a better view. This is actually a very remote village. According to a couple sources on Google, there's only about 14 people that live here. But Saksun 
It's worth the visit, worth the drive. Check it out. There's also a pretty cool hike you can do to the beach in the village of Saksum. There's a random credit card machine in the middle of nowhere, which we found pretty comical. <laughs> so my next stop after Saksum is gonna be Tjornuvik, which is the northernmost village in Stremoy. It's a very picturesque, village located right on the ocean so we're gonna go see what that's about I have about a 30 minute drive of narrow roads to go but with these beautiful roads and these beautiful landscapes the time goes by like this Tjornuvik After Tjornuvik, I made my way over to the Fosa waterfall. Fosa is actually the biggest waterfall in the Faroe Islands at 450 feet. We hiked all the way to the top and also to the middle. Very sketchy hike at times, but at the end, it's all worth it. I had heard of the Vesmana Sea Cliffs boat tour, but didn't really think much of it until one of my roommates convinced me to book a ticket and join him on the trip. So I did. And honestly, I gotta say, this was actually one of the best experiences that I had while on this trip. The water was super choppy and the captain was pretty gutsy going through the sea cliffs. And it was all really cool and scary at the same time, but I'm very happy that I ended up going through with it.